All right, are we on? Well, let's hope right, so. Let's see here. Let's we'll give, give some, some of them a few minutes to get on there. But welcome to The Vision, because the view isn't enough. This is, I think, our third live. Is it on? It's on. Oh, there yeah. we go. Okay, tonight the subject is going to be fear. How does it hold us back? So I feel like, I don't know what you all think the opposite of fear is. So what do you all think is the opposite of fear? Do you think it's doubt? Yeah. Opposite? The opposite of fear? Yeah. The doubt would be the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. I mean, not doubt. You got, I got to pick up what you're putting down. The opposite of fear. What the opposite of faith? Is that what you're saying? No, let me look at my notes. I done got me all mixed up here. <laughs> I have it. I mean, I talked to you about it this afternoon. The opposite of faith is fear. Yes, you're right. The opposite of faith is fear. We've always said, I feel like the opposite of faith is doubt. The opposite of faith is sight. The opposite of faith is sight. Because you don't have faith, you don't have to see it. Oh, that's a good one. Anybody else got thoughts on that? That was Holy Spirit. That was straight up Holy Spirit. That was good. That is good. Stop me. Anyways, the fear. How do you all feel that fear holds you back? I can tell you how fear held me back. Okay. Yes. Let's go there. Yeah. Um, and I, I've shared it before. I, I never knew my purpose. So I decided to do the sound at church. The not most non-musical, <laughs> non-computer um, person that there is. I'm a nurse, you know, but so I said, I'm going to do the sound. So I went to Chad and I said, I'm, I'm going to do the sound. He's like, okay, babe, what are you going to do? So I went up there in that little eagle's nest. But what I found in the eagle's nest, Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I found in the eagle's nest was I learned how to worship up there. That's good. Uh, come That's on. Good. Because fear held me back when I was there Ooh, in good. the sanctuary. Y'all know. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And I would never raise my hands. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. She did, a, she did last Sunday, to, or not last Sunday, but more last Sunday, my heart. Well, Chad, I felt like Chad was the only one that could see me in the Eagle's Nest. And he would sit and watch me, and he'd get so tickled <laughs> because I danced, I raised my hands, <laughs> I worshipped up there. Yeah. And then when Jacob came up there with me, me and him worshipped mm -hmm. together. Yeah, because Jacob's a worshiper. Yes, and then ding, ding, ding. I'm not supposed to do the same. I'm yes. supposed to be a worshiper. <laughs> That is now awesome. I can worship without the fear. Yeah, yes. she's, she's, awesome. awesome. she's with That's me. Good. That is awesome. That's great. That's wow. Great. Yeah. Anybody, has anybody had those? I think everybody's experienced fear, but is anybody willing to say anything about the fear that they've overcome? Well, I think that you have fear of other people's opinions. Yeah. I think everybody uh, has that. That's yeah. a that's a yeah. big. It's a big thing, or fear of failure, yes. um, and that keeps you from. Going. There's that movie Failure to Launch, and so there's that fear yeah. Yeah. to step out just in faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do how do we overcome that? You got to know your God. Yes, absolutely. I mean that's it's by knowing God, and that's what I even wrote down. Daniel, I think it's Daniel eleven thirty two or eleven thirty five <laughs> says that uh, the people that know their God will do great exploits. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that that comes with that knowing that Sierra and I do John seventeen three that yeah. says yeah. to know God is eternal life. Yes. And so yeah. it's the confidence yeah. of it's trading our earthly fears for the fear of the Lord because that's the beginning of wisdom. Yeah. And when you get to where your God is bigger than any fear that yeah. holds you back. Yeah. I think one of the biggest verses I've heard it uh, quoted several times, but 1 John 4, 18 says there is no fear in love. Yeah. So like you said, if we know God and we know his love, he is love. And if we know that, it says there is no fear in love, but perfect love, which is God's love, yeah. is perfect, casteth out fear because fear hath torment. Yeah. Have you ever been tormented? Mm -hmm. How many has experienced the torment? Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. Just even, um, <clears throat> I know we're talking about us now and our fears and overcoming, but I can remember fear way back yes. as, a, yeah. as a child, just fear of heights, you know, and there would be class trips where your friends would go to Holiday World or places like that, and I was always the one that stood at the bottom mm -hmm. waiting for them to get off the ride because Man, I was so, experience. yes, and so 
I was just, have always been, and, and then storms, I was afraid of storms, just to the point that, you know, I hid in the bathroom when storms would come, or, or wait, so I remember fear as a child forever, and it yes. just built and built and built and built, and, you know, I always, that one song that, you, uh, that came out years ago, um, I Hope You Can Dance, mm -hmm. I was just like, you know, that's me in my heart, mm -hmm. I wished I could dance, you know, yeah. in that riding a ride or yes. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it didn't come until later on yeah. until yeah. I grew in God yeah. Yeah. and realized that it is the love of him and yes. what does it matter yes. what does it matter yeah you know I'm eternally with him one way or the, one other. Or the other that's right so and he's yeah. got you True. right that's you know good. and I looked up uh, the definition of fear and I want to read that first but then I also looked up the biblical and how how that reads uh, the definition is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. If we are believing a lie that fear has spoken, we can be damaged. Um, that, that little part there was my own thing. If we're believing a lie, the Bible says you can believe a lie and be damned. Mm -hmm. And we can be damaged if we're believing that lie and that fear, that seed of fear. So then I went to the KJV dictionary definition of fear. It says a painful emotion or passion excited by an expectation of evil or the appreh apprehension of impending danger. Fear expresses less apprehension than dread and dread less than terror and fright. The force of this passion, beginning with the most moderate degree, may be thus expressed fear Dread, terror, or fright. So if we, it starts out with a little seed of fear, but it grows. Mm -hmm. If we don't pluck that out mm -hmm. yes. and, and take care of that seed of fear when it first starts, it bring, it's just like anything else. It brings on more with it. Yep. So what would start out as a fear of height might be a fear of so many other things that is a torment to mm -hmm. us and keeps us from yep. living fully mm -hmm. in who Christ has called us to be. And I don't think that it necessarily has to be the fear of that thing. Rather, it's just the cycle of the fear. Yes. Like, because in my life, there's, and I've said this before, there's five or six different things that are used. And it's not necessarily that specific thing, that thing that is the issue. It's just what it presents itself as. The root of it is the fear. Is fear yeah. But it presents itself as different things, like fear of, you know, I used to be afraid of running bathwater. Like, <laughs> I would lose That's my mind if you, get, if you didn't lie. leave, if you left the bathtub <laughs> unattended. Because yeah. in my mind, the whole house was filled with water and we'd all drown. I mean, yeah. that's how that's how yeah. Yeah. crazy it was in my head. But I don't think necessarily that's because I don't care. That's not, that doesn't make me scared now. Mm -hmm. But other things still do. Yeah. And so I think it's the cycle of being afraid. So that reminds me more of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what... And that's part of fear. Lucado had said yes. in his book that anxiety and fear are cousins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not twins, but they're cousins huh. because fear is something that we've seen and it presents itself, but anxiety is fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. So, like, we could say, I'm not going outside because I see a snake crawling in the grass. That's fear. Yeah. Or I can say, I'm never, ever going outside and getting in that grass because they're could be a snake. Yeah, them all. So no, that's yeah. that's where you're that's cycling good. with with the bathtub thing. Yeah, it's exactly. a fear. So, but and well, that make that makes sense because there's the fear. Like there's been times where I won't ask God something because of fear of what He might say. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, this, this is, is, I don't think that's a big. Yeah, I don't need that. I didn't talk again, but I don't know. <clears 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 I, I did twice. I know. I know. There's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the case. I'm a rule breaker. Yeah. Tanya, but, could you show yeah. us your shirt, please? You say that, but I have watched that. And that's great. So that's so great. I'm sorry. Okay. But um, one of my biggest fears growing up was uh, losing my parents. Yeah. Um, it would just riddle. I would become riddled with that fear, and I remember going in such a panic over it at times. <clears throat> As I got older and lost my parents, I realized that the anticipation of losing them, that the anticipation of that fear of losing them, it sounds awful, but was worse mm. 
than losing them yes. because there are worse things than death. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you realize that as you get older and your parents get become ill and, and things yeah. begin to happen. You know, um, I just know all those many nights that I lay in fear of losing yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Which would be anxiety yeah. because it's uh, uh, yes. the... Yeah. Yeah, that's and like you said, it's the fear of the unknown. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. that was really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's really yeah, that good. I love that twin thing about yeah. fear. Yeah. Yeah. Who did you say said that? Max. Okay. Okay. And so I have that has this book. I have that book. Anxious for nothing. Anxious for nothing. Anxious for nothing. Well, I just think that's awesome to be able to identify because when we're doing deliverance and prayer for people, I've been able to identify what to even call out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, not, it's not always going to be fear. fear. It's going to be anxiety. If it's, or, if it's of the unknown, then it's the, I think it's a whole lot. So Because there's a name for it and it has yeah. to bow. So what yeah. I want, and yeah, I mean, to correctly identify it. So I wonder, like, how do you do worry and anxiety, are, the, are those two twins or are those something completely, like, I think that's an aspect. Of I think, it. I think so, everything yeah. we've talked about it before. I think everything, every issue that we have stems from fear. Yeah, I wrote that. I think fear is the I, root. I, of I think everything. it's. Yeah. A, if I think it's a root. Mm -hmm. But the scripture also does say, "Be anxious for, for nothing. nothing." That's right. Mm -hmm. But in everything. in everything, in everything, yeah. in prayer and supplication. Yes. Yep. So I do think it's something that even as Christians, if we don't, you know, because yeah. stepping out and doing this yes. was fearful to me. I still get nervous. Yeah. I'm still nervous over it because <clears throat> what if I mess up? What if I say something stupid? What if I look this yeah. way? What mm -hmm. if I do that? Mm -hmm. But you get to the point in your relationship with God right. yes. yeah. that yeah. it's yeah. all or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> it really doesn't matter to me. And I told Amy this. Mm -hmm. Seer, mm -hmm. and I'm not one. Seer's talked to me basically since mom died because I don't like my picture taken. Yeah. I don't like to have my picture taken. I don't like to be on film. You know, you're never... You never think you're as big as you really are until you see a picture of yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's just how I'm just being real. Kerry right. talked last night about <clears throat> being real, and that really hit. Mm -hmm. We have to be real in our lives. Mm -hmm. So I told Sarah, I said, today, I said, I think I'm starting to see myself through God's eyes. Mm -hmm. Come on. And I told her that Hello. because <laughs> she did a live video Saturday at the vendor thing, mm -hmm. and she panned across and had me wave, and, and I went back to look at that, and I was like, I don't look as bad as I used to think I did. <laughs> and, and I think that was God saying, mm. it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not looking at that mm -hmm. part. Yeah. I'm looking at that obedient yeah. heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. on. And I still have issues with being obedient and going, you know, immediately my first thought is not to say yes sometimes. Yeah. But I'm gen genuinely trying yep. to just say, if he tells me that, yeah. I'm just going to do it. Yep. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. That's right. If we, if not now, when? And that's what Mary said to him. If you've ever watched uh, the Chosen, when he goes, he does the. They're at the marriage supper, mm -hmm. and she says they've run out of wine. Mm -hmm. And and he said, woman, what does that have to do with me? My time is not yet come. And she said, if not now, when? Mm -hmm. So that's why that I, because he had said that to her when he was twelve, when she <clears> had <throat> lost him. I mean, the mother. I mean, that's got to be damaging to you. You done, you I mean, done lost the Lord's child. You done lost the Lord's child. You done lost the Holy Spirit gave you, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. The, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> he said, do you not know that I must be about my father's that's business? Right. That's right. That's Listen, right. Yep. if not now, girls, when? Yeah. Right. Yep. If not now. That's right. When? And that's, that's my question to pose to you all out there. Mm -hmm. If not now, when? Because right. time's running out. That's right, yes. I mean, it's running out, so we better get on board with it. And so that that poses that question is, what can fear do? Nothing. Well, <laughs> with Moses, it caused him to be disobedient. Yeah. yeah. Right. It, it can yes. only do what we allow. Yeah. With Moses, do. he he became disobedient. And then with the ten spies that looked in and seen the giants, yeah. yes. they didn't need to enter into God's promises. That's yeah. right. So it is. We have to identify yeah. if yeah. we have fear. Yeah. We need yeah. to identify that because yeah. it is an enemy to our destination. Yeah. And for it's me, good. it's become, for somebody who has had to overcome fear and overcome anxiety, it becomes a check for me because if there's something I feel like the Lord is asking me to do, yeah. and then I'm like, okay, yes, I'll do it. And then I start feeling the fear and the anxiety, then it's like, oh, I'm on track. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, here comes the enemy, and I can, there's you know, mood. start, yeah. you know, shutting it down. It's become yeah. almost a check. Yeah. But if I start feeling that, then I know the enemy is trying to shut that down and yeah. I need to keep moving. Yeah, good. And another thing that I wanted to point out, there's two different kinds of fear. 
Yes. The fear of the Lord is an and awe of thing. respect. Mm -hmm. We're in awe of Him. So we don't have to be fearful of Him. Right. Not mm -hmm. that kind of fear. No. We just have to respect it's Him. Acknowledging it's acknowledging Him and His holiness, His yeah. power, yes. His yeah. unreverence. Well, that, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the truth. Yeah. I think we can compare that to, <coughs> to like parents. Like I remember, I never could tell mom a lot about anything. I mean, I never could. I would always. That would be a I would get. A, <laughs> I would get away with it. I would look, seriously get away with it, and then Holy Spirit would wake me up, and I'd have to go tell her. Mm, like at three o'clock in the morning, I had to go tell her, Mom. The other night when I said I was this place, I wasn't there. I was over here. <laughs> I was like, what time are you preaching to the teens of Millbrae County? Yeah. <laughs> listen. And I was that parent that said, Sierra, it's okay. Go back to sleep. <laughs> That's what she told but you at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's it wasn't, I didn't, wasn't that's afraid of what she was going to do to me yeah. because I knew she loved me. She wouldn't harm me. But I was more afraid of disappointing yes. her if she found out, found out that I had lied. And yeah, that's, a, that's, that's, a that's, that's a respect. That's a respect fear. of I did not want to lie to her and her think I was yeah. somewhere else and I actually would have been scared of me. Yeah. You know, uh, Brother Larry, uh, not this past Wednesday, but the Wednesday before, was talking about um, in Nam. Um, the, there's a scripture in Nahum 1 7 that the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and He knows those who take refuge in Him. And if you go up to the six verses leading down to that, I mean, it's talking about God's wrath, it's talking about His vengeance, it's talking about, you know, all these things, and then you get to verse 7, He says, and the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. he, and His question that He posed was, how can He say that? Yeah. But here's the beauty as a child of God, mm -hmm. He knows those who take refuge in Him. That's Come on. me. Yeah. And then in 2 Timothy 2, 19, But His firm foundation stands bearing this seal. The Lord knows who are His. So my God, he, there is an aspect of wrath yep. and vengefulness that is coming one day. But it's not for me. Well, that's right. I, can, I can have an all yeah. fear yeah. of the Lord yeah. and rest that's in the goodness no, and yes. comfort yes. that I have been sealed with this. God knows who I am. That's, that's right. right. It's good. It's good. And that's good. the thing is that we have to that understand that God's wrath was never meant for us. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. It, ha it, it was never meant to be ours, and I think that's where people feel like they question, why did God have this wrath? Well, he did have wrath, that's, that's accident, but it wasn't for us. The stuff that we see happening is not God's wrath being poured out yet. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the consequences of our own actions, and that wrath was never meant for us. And then you go into the beauty of that Jesus received that yeah. on the yes. cross and yeah. took yes. what should yeah. have been mine yes. so that I could stand holy and blameless yep. and never reproach. Yep. And then you look at Christ and you go, yeah. you are more than I could ever. Yeah. Shoot, I'm telling you. Yeah. But I mean, it's, yeah. you know, have fa having faith in him. Yeah. And that's it. That's the only requirement. Yeah. I'm not under the law. I only have to have faith in right. Jesus Christ and who he is. Yeah. And so then when you look at one of the first ones when I was studying, even for fear, uh, the first time fear inter ever entered in was with Adam. Yes. This is, he said, where are y'all at? And they he did. says, well, we were, we were afraid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. sowed that seed of fear. Yeah. Where did that fear yes. come from? Yeah. Yes. You know, the enemy twists those words, and he, and he takes what Christ did on the mm -hmm. cross and turns it against us and mm -hmm. then makes the accusation at us. Tony has said yeah. that. You know, um, I think I said to see her last night, Kyrie mentioned in his message the chastisement of our peace was on his back. Yeah. Yeah. So if we're not accepting peace, then he took all of that. Yep. We're that rejecting. Good. Good. We yeah. are rejecting the peace yeah. that he took upon his back. Yep. Yeah. When we don't accept that from him. Mm -hmm. When we're still walking in the fear and the anxiety. And I and I know I've I don't feel like I've I've dealt with anxiety. But I dealt with fear. I, I can remember this was when Sarah was a baby, and I'm really being candid and, and transparent <laughs> tonight. But Sarah was a baby, and we lived in Powderly. And this was this was when I was yes, I am divorced. I was married to her father, and he would leave around five or five thirty to go to work, and it would just be me and her there. And it was daylight, but I was paralyzed by fear. Mm -hmm. I would sit up on the couch holding her like this. And every noise I heard, so bad that I have a cousin, Julie Blue, now, that I would call her. She lived in Powerly, and she would come to my house, sit in her car till I could get Sierra out and get her in my car and in the car seat. 
and I would drive to my mom's. And I did that every single day. Then we divorced. I left that home and went and stayed with mom and dad for three years. Three years. Took them out of their, Jordan was 18 months old then. Took them out of their home because of fear. Yep. Tammy Groves, which is Autumn's mom. Autumn's gonna be here in April to be part of it. She told me I was getting ready to move back and she said, Stacy, I want to go and anoint your house with oil. She went and anointed every doorway, every window, everything in my house. And I told them, I told somebody yesterday, I said, I would lay down and sleep when we moved back home, that fear was gone. I would lay down and sleep at night and get up the next morning and realize I had either left my keys in the door knob to my front door or my door was standing <laughs> open and unlocked yeah. because I forgot. Fear did not have a hold on me then. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not something, we don't have to deal with that. No. We don't have to keep that. No. And so no. fear will, it will paralyze mm -hmm. you if you allow yeah. it to. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and that fear is fear of, of things. But I want to talk about the fear of not being who God's called you to be in the church. Well, so in your worship, yeah. like she was talking about. Um, Carol says that fear paralyzes and keeps us from moving forward. Yeah. Tracy Hawker says, Stacy, you are a beautiful soul. Mm -hmm. But Brittany Bauer says, fearing God isn't the same as being afraid of God. Being afraid drives us away. Right. Yeah. Yes. Fearing God means we are awed by His power and goodness. Mm. This draws us yeah, closer. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Awesome. So one of the things when we're talking about when it holds us back from what God has told us and called us into is when you're talking about David. Oh yeah. Anya had prophesied this over New Life mm -hmm. Church years and years ago, and so I I got into studying that story where David's out feeding the sheep, and his dad says, "Hey, go feed your brothers." lunch, you know, and they're at war with the Philistines, and uh, so David goes and they're hiding. Morning and evening, they're hiding. And David's like, what are y'all, he's an uncircumcised Philistine. He has no covenant with our yeah, God. He was so right. upset. What are y'all doing? He was offended. He was offended by their behavior. Fear, fear. Yeah. Ridiculous. Paused them and yeah. paralyzed them. They weren't yeah. even able to, and what the cool thing is, is it doesn't take the one person right. to be fearless in that circumstance, yeah. to understand who their God is, yeah. right. and to know what we've been promised, and Come to on. understand that the enemy, fear, has no power, no That's authority. Right. They have, they're not yeah. partnered with what That's God right. says for us to do. That's so right. when, when David took the stone and killed Goliath with the one stone, he gets up and goes, well, what's really cool is the brothers follow behind him, and yeah. they go ahead and take over yeah. what it is. Yeah. So it takes the one person. To, to acknowledge mm. fears in the room, but it has no covenant mm -hmm. yeah. with what God yeah. says, and it, yeah. it has no authority over it. Yeah. So, do you think we can be fearless? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Completely fearless? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, how many have experienced being told to do something in the service and haven't done it? This, we're leaving Amy out of this one. <laughs> you don't get to respond. We already know that. <laughs> and no. I, I would Mary say, Mary, what do you want to so let me say Sunday. Oh, there you go. And I didn't no, know. it was not the Sunday. It was the and Sunday, it was Sunday before. before. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday before. before. Yeah, she takes me. And uh, I did. Yeah. Um, I was I in in I in the yeah I wrong wrong spot, but it's okay. You know, I'm that, I'm that person. It didn't matter where I sit. So I'm here here, and Miriam's like, I, I was like, I didn't even think there. was there. I know. You. I'm I, like, well, I'm just several different places, and so. Um, this particular Sunday morning, there was one pew in front of me, and the praise band, and 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 just whatever. <laughs> so they begin to sing, and they begin to sing the song "I Speak Jesus," <laughs> and um, that's what I kept saying. Uh -huh. I kept saying, Whew, "Lord, just speak your name." I'm just, and I'm, I'm I know the people She's in front of me are probably the thinking, you know. <laughs> Okay, you know, because I'm just talking to myself. My kids are used to it now, you know. <laughs> Get in the car and I'm doing that. But I'm just like, yes, Lord, that's good. That's good, yes. And it kept saying, I speak Jesus. I speak Jesus over your anxiety and your depression. Mm, yes. I speak Jesus over yeah. your life. I speak Jesus yeah, on the mountaintop. Yeah. When he said mountaintop, I said, Jesus. <laughs> and then I said, Jesus. And then I said, Jesus! <laughs> yes! You know, and I said, I give you everything. Yes. And then I said, and you will not, enemy, have my 
children. Yes. You will not have my husband. You will not have my nieces. You will not have my family. I speak Jesus. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know where Karen is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was her. I yeah. she told me like, she I, gets like, I heard someone screaming, but, but I didn't know it was you. <laughs> <her. laughs> she very ends up going, I wonder if we're Karen. I was. I need to text her. I need to text her. I need to text her. I felt such freedom in that that I I just, I know I can't go back. Yeah. I can't go back. You just cannot go back. Yep. You know, it's been brewing for a long time, and I've stepped out a few other times doing simple things, but that one, woo, I was just like, yeah. yeah. And, yep. of course, I said, I'm probably going to get petitions. <laughs> so <laughs> excuse me, and I said, it'll be my husband's first. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to sit down. <laughs> now, somebody take a flint and peel it off of that yep. spot. Yep. 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 Because here's, but here's the thing. People don't have to understand. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, it's like I said the other day. Um, Maybe they don't know him like I know him, yeah. and why I can get excited about him, yeah. and why I can be, you know, yes. like, and it's, true. it's just maybe they don't know him like yeah. I don't, know, or what he's delivered me from, oh, you know, and it. how much of the that's stuff it. that we don't talk about, yeah. Yeah. but that Christ has delivered us from. Absolutely, I am yeah. free from rejection, from anxiety, <laughs> from right. depression. I mean, yeah. all of these things yeah. I could just keep listening. Yeah. They are not who I am anymore, yeah. and it's because of the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And it's because of community, which we talked about that yes, this we weekend. Did. It's going to be a topic that I think we need yeah. to. But having that community yeah. that when you look at somebody and you go, and, and you were, I mean, I've told you this before, but when I said, I just feel like I'm going crazy. And you said, don't ever say that over yourself That's again. Right. It was my day one that she broke that off. Yeah, and yeah. she was the person that came along and said, you got to change yeah. your mindset. Yeah. You got to change your talk. You got to, you know, yeah. and it was, yeah. and, it, and I still struggled at times, yeah. but it was this constant, like breaking free. It was this yes. whole process. Good. And then yeah. once you're free. It's like well, once you're free, you want everybody else. Yes, you do. You're free too. You want them. Yes. You know that's what I think. I I don't want single moms to live what I live through. Not even the the financial strain, but the the torment that the enemy would say you're not enough. Yeah. Yeah. You're not good enough to do this. You can't do this on your own. Yeah. You've been left behind. I mean, there were all kinds of lies right, yeah. that were told to me that over the years I didn't even realize I had believed about myself yeah. until I surrendered yeah. to say, God, whatever it is yeah. yep. that you it's want true. me to do, it's good. I'll just do it. And someone else seems yeah. to hear that, yes. just yes. like she did. And the only reason that I could help her break free is because my mother had done the same. I, I, I dealt with the same thing at home, yes. the fear and anxiety, and it was through the roof. Yeah. Through the roof until even Larry said one day, are we living the rest of our life like this? And I said, do you think I want to feel this? Do you think yeah. I want to act like this? So my mom came down and she said, I just want to know who are you? And, you know, I was, I, you know who I am. <laughs> she said, no, who are you? Yeah. And I said, mom, okay, you know, my name is Karen. <laughs> she said, no, I want you to know who are you? And I said, I'm a child of God. And she said, that's exactly right. Yes. Yes. And she said, that's all that matters. Yep, that's Everything it. else has to bow. Yes. That's and right. she said, and you tell it yeah. right now Come on. to bow. And she, and then she went on to tell me that she had went through the same thing. Yeah. I was like, oh, I never knew. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think it's communicating for other people to understand just what you're saying. So yes. Yes. Somebody yes. needs to hear. Well, it sounds, you sound like a little story. David story. Yeah. Because yeah. he recognized who he was. And yes. that was enough. Yes. Yeah. It was enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not people think they're the only ones that ever have that fear. Yeah. And they keep it to themselves. And they realize that other people deal with the same thing. And it says, all right, there's answers to this. This right. isn't the first time this has been filled. Right. Yeah. Well, you talked about freedom, the freedom you felt, and you know, Brimley got saved oh, two yeah. weeks ago, uh, and um, Kara had her at Walmart, and they ran into Amy, the thing in her aunt, and Amy was like, "Oh, Brimley, we are just so happy, you know, we're so proud of you." Now this child's five years old. We are so happy. We are so proud that you got saved. She said, me too. She said, I feel so free. Mm -hmm. At five years old, mm -hmm. she said she told her mama she could feel it coming out of her mm -hmm. heart. And she felt <laughs> so free that she, mm -hmm. to acknowledge, to know that mm -hmm. at that age, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, there's yeah. a calling on that child. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Second of all, I had so a fear cool. of having children. Mm -hmm. 
because I didn't want to put on my child what I went through mm -hmm. with just, I, I guess it was I don't know what it was. But I always said I like you had a name. A real, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to have a child. I don't want, especially I didn't want to have a little girl that might end up being like me. <laughs> not, we didn't need another one. <laughs> we did not need another true bliss. Mm. That's how I felt. Mm. You know, um, the Lord felt different. Yes. Apparently, <laughs> we, knew, we knew what I needed. Yes. You know, to yeah, forty-one years old, and you find that pregnant. But <laughs> ooh, that is a hard one. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes and drinking that cup <laughs> oh, No, not me. <laughs> um, but I but I have, I have learned a lot. Yes. And and I've even told Josie that because yes. you know they you have a little issues every now and then, but. but and I told her that I said, baby, you know, mama had that fear of putting that off on somebody. Mm -hmm. I said, but you know God like I didn't. Yeah. Know God. That's yeah. Right. You have yeah. a, a, a warrior. You you know, right. you she can does. ward yeah. all this yeah. off with, yeah. you know how to fight this off. Yeah. yeah. You know, and we, we got to teach our children. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, you know, I think what happens is, is we put the mask on, like, Rarely, I know I burnt mine or something, but <laughs> <laughs> they tell me to watch my face on the show. So, <laughs> but they do. It, it, I mean, not right. But it's going in to church and just doing church and then leaving, and we're not we're not walking this thing out. We're not cashing in on the warranty that Christ paid for. That's right. That's it good. cost him something. Yeah, it, did. it cost him something, and he wants us to be free. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be free indeed. That's with an exclamation mark. I mean, that's that. And I think that it's one of those things where, you know, we talk, I've talked several times. We dealt with, after dad's suicide, Carly had some issues with some with suicidal thoughts. And I said, listen, here's the deal. I can be led by the spirit of fear and manipulation and in that, because that's the enemy. It wasn't necessarily right. Carly, but it was with that thing. And I'm thinking, okay, we can, we can sweep it underneath the rug. We can push the bear and we not address it. But we're, it's going to come up again. Right. It will always come up again mm -hmm. until we hit it. Yeah. 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 Right? We yeah. just got to, and that's, I mean, it makes people feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But when you want to be free and you're tired of doing <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah. you will address yeah. it. You will. You Please. will address it. I remember Leanne telling me that. She, I, there was a point in my life where I just could not, there were certain things I could not let it go. I just couldn't. And I told her, I said, I, she kept telling me, you got to do this. She was like, I don't know how. I don't, I, I yeah. can't. And she said, when you get tired enough, you will. I got tired enough. And I did. <laughs> but there has to be a point, like you said, where you're just, there ain't nothing else going to work. Well, uh, and Mary Ann had it in her notes, but it's in, in Timothy where it says, he didn't give me the, the spirit, the right. spirit yeah. of this. Yeah. And, and then you can read what that is, but. Um, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound, a sound mind. Yeah. And so sound mind. when we're looking at that, I need, and I talk about our motives a lot of what we do and our intentions because that's what God's looking at. But also just what am I being led by? Because we're supposed to be led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That ain't got nothing to do with fear. Yeah. That has nothing to do with this earthly fear. And so we have to look at that stuff. That's the heart issues that we have to address. Like when you're looking at how we're going to relate to God, we have to look at our motives and what we're led by. Well, and that's not even just like the thing, but that's even things with good intentions. Mm -hmm. Like we can do things that we think are for the Lord. I have done, done, many, I, I've done ministry in the past because of fear of other people's opinions. I needed to do it a certain way. And it was yeah. like my my little spiritual mama from California who said, not everybody gets the mic. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You, there's, yeah. you know, yeah. right. the way, the position that God puts you in sometimes to, when you're orchestrating things, it's, you're not going to always be liked. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Hmm. What, what was that? No, I just, that's, that's true. I true. do want to now say this too. When we're talking about how we see ourselves, I really uh, did this in, the middle school class and, and mainly for not just for girls I shouldn't say that but it was I want you to write something down that you don't like about yourself physically mentally spiritually something let's put it on a paper and I want you to give it to me and then I want everyone to write what they think about Sierra and give it a piece of paper and, and give it to me and then Tanya and then 
And then I read just the things that we battled with, how we didn't like ourselves, how we, you know, didn't like my hair, didn't like, you know, my, the size of my head, so didn't like, you know, the way, all these things. But then when I said, Sierra, let me tell you what they see. They say, oh my gosh, she has the most beautiful hair. Her eyes are beautiful. She's got the most gorgeous voice. And she's got such a sweet spirit. When when we read those things, yeah. it changed <laughs> how you perceive yourself. And even like Stacy needs to hear. It's not what yeah. you see. Right. It's yeah. what everybody else sees. Yeah. And Terry just said that a few minutes ago too. There doesn't need to be another Terry Bliss Why? You're kind. We're joy and the you delight. Are, yeah, seriously. You are kind. <laughs> you're beautiful. Yes. You are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And you're kind and you're giving and your heart's precious. Yes. And, you know, yes. those things are yes. true yes. of you. And so when we know those she things loves about ourselves. Hard. She, she loves hard. Let me tell you yes. something. She does. Yes. So we just that's just something She's I wish that everybody <laughs> We yeah. do, yeah. honestly. Well, yeah. it's one of those things that don't don't have flowers at my funeral. Go ahead and tell. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make it really. awkward. Yeah. Make, it good good. Make it awkward. Yeah. Make it good enough. Yeah. Make it good enough. Yeah. Make it good enough. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't awkward for yeah. us. No, I know. <laughs> No, it wouldn't be awkward for you. She, like, yeah, not, awkward. she said, that's not awkward for us. I was like, and then I turned to you, I was like, it wouldn't be awkward for It wouldn't be awkward for us either. So last week we did, or week before, whenever it was, we had these little things that uh, Peggy and I both had researched and got. I posted so, it. And I've got one that's kind of for earthly fear versus oh, God's fear. Yeah. 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 Shout Earth. out to Peggy if y'all find it. Earthly fear is foolish. Godly fear is the beginning of wisdom. That's good. That's good. Earthly fear depreciates. Yeah. And godly fear empowers. Yeah. Mm, that's like Where'd that you get way. that at? Did you I think that up? No, yourself? I didn't. No, it wasn't me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, some well, of it was a little bit. Earthly you didn't fear. didn't copy and paste it. No. <laughs> <laughs> earthly fear brings death. True. Death to yeah, dreams. That's true. Yes. That's true. Godly fear offers life. Yes. Mm. And so when we're looking at, okay, I'm in this situation and what am I holding on to? We need to look if that's earthly fear or godly fear. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. It was just a three. Put the screenshot there and post it. Yeah, yeah. I figure we can post it on the thing. Yeah. Peggy Have says, we got any comments? Oh, how I wish I was there. I'm missing this. We miss you, Peggy. <laughs> we miss you. We miss you. And Carol. We miss you, ladies. I said exterior is my favorite exterior. My favorite exterior. <laughs> <laughs> so the next, we actually. Wait a minute. In the infamous words of <laughs> Zach Williams, uh -oh. fear is a lie. Is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, uh, because I did a, did a study with Elijah, and Elijah does prove that you can be in this thing for a really long time and still fear would not be immune to it. So it's not about mm -hmm. reaching a thing and saying, okay, I yeah, don't have to deal with fear no more. Yeah. Because when you read, and I think it was, I wrote it down, First Kings 18 and 19, he fights all these battles and he's winning but then Jezebel comes around and threatens oh, him and he's hiding in the cliff and so then he gets fearful and then he runs and gets to a tree and hides and begs God for him to die mm. he says I'm the only prophet left just kill me now <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Mm. and God doesn't come back and do it. he literally wants to address the issue and he feeds him twice yeah and he says, you go over and you hide, and the Lord wants to speak something to you. Right. And the Lord comes to him and tells him the truth about the matter. He, you ain't the only one. There's 7,000 more just like it that ain't bad before Baal. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Good. Go back Good. and do this, this, and this. Yeah. So it's at that moment of just identifying. And Elijah spoke and told God. Mm -hmm. So it's not about hiding our fear. No, it's no. about addressing that's it with good. God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Because He wants to give you truth. Yes, He wants to give you truth. Yeah. Yeah. That is good. That is good. I don't think I've ever thought about. It. I don't think I've, I've just that's always the tried to do it inside of me, not inside of myself, but always been like, okay, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. I'm not. I've never. I don't think. I've, I don't think I've ever said, God, this is what I'm afraid uh -huh. of. And He gives mm -hmm. you the truth to it. That's good. But, Here's the thing with that, too, is this is the part where it says God wasn't in the wind and he wasn't in the hurricane, he wasn't in the fire. Mm -hmm. He had him get there. He had him go up to the mountain. You stay here, and the Lord's going to come speak to you. Then the wind came, and it, it said it demolished 
the stone, like the mountain. It demolished it. Yeah. Then the her the earthquake came, and then the fire came, and then God whispered. So He said, "All these things are destructive, but I'm coming in a whisper." I mean, that's Ooh, what that is. That's and weird. so He's that that? letting face it. Elijah. So. It's First Kings eighteen and nineteen. Lordy, dang. Yeah. That's right. To build the lie, people. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if y'all feel it out there, but we feel it in here. So here's what it is summed up. God whispered the truth to Elijah, and his earthly fear was replaced by a godly fear that helped him live a life yeah. that pleased God. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He had all these earthly fears. I'm the only one. You might as well kill me now. That's what mm -hmm. she's going to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then God comes and says, this didn't hurt you. This didn't hurt you. And this didn't hurt you. And you got 7,000 more just like you. Go. Go back to where you come from. He's not going to let you avoid the circumstance. No. no. We have to go through the circumstance. Yeah. To know who he is. Mm -hmm. If we no. never had adversity. Yeah. If I had never had adversity in my life, I wouldn't know him. Yeah. I wouldn't oh, know, I know. I, yeah. Because I would think that I could do it on my own. Yeah. yeah. We have to have the adversity. You have, the old saying is, you have to have a test to have a testimony. Mm -hmm. That's truth in that. Mm -hmm. So thank you, God, yep, yep, for yep. where you brought me yep. from. Mm -hmm. Thank you because you brought me through that. Yep. You were faithful through every bit of it. In my weakness, you were strong. So yep. thank you for yep. that, God. Yep. I think Mary answered that last time. She was like, yes. well, that, or that's brought back up to you. No, thank you for delivering me. Yes. 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 And, yes. And, it's, and he does deliver us. He, and he does yes, bring us. But we don't hook up with Jesus to have a life of the simple. Dan Muller says if you if you were exactly. yes. if you were connecting with Christ to have life go the way that you want it to go, you're already you're deceived, already you're gonna be disappointed. Yeah. Woe is me, is you're struggling for it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's not about time. it is Christ is a relationship. It's about going through life and having him. Yeah, you know, I think we got us. some it's comments. About, Let's see what we got. Well, while you're looking at those I comments, I do need to say, I, I mean, no disrespect to my church family, nor pastor. <laughs> Love them all. So I was just, it was just a little joke earlier. <laughs> I don't remember what. Okay, Carol said, taking thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ will cast out fear, perfect love, got to trust him. Yes, uh, good. Petey so says, good. mount up his eagles and fly above the adversity. That was a good message. That's a good, good message yesterday morning, too, Pastor Ross. Mm -hmm. It's about Amy Froach. Oh, that's good, good, Amy. <laughs> oh, that's good, Amy. It is so good. good. Um, it's true. Mm -hmm. So we have enjoyed it tonight. I think it has been one of the better ones. I've enjoyed the discussion. I think we're getting a little comfortable. Yeah. Um, still some nerves with me. Y'all sound like you're just okay. Mm -hmm. I get a little bit more nervous, I think. But we're that's, gonna that's do. A fear. That's it a fear. Is. It is. It is. Oh my gosh, she's talking about. It is. My heart sharpens iron. That's right. Yes, that's I agree. Right. I agree. I'm and ready. Then, Jesus, Jesus take time. it. Yes, it'll be less. And less yes. Every yes. Time. Oh, I'm not gonna speak it anymore. I should have done that. Exactly. I should have just took it to Jesus and let it go. Right. right. Yeah. Everybody right. needs a group of friends. Yeah. 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 Everybody right. needs some friends like I got. Yes. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, one thing that we're going to start new in April, we will have um, Autumn Kucher will be here to give her testimony. The she bomb. is the bomb. She's got a testimony out of this world. Um, so she's going to be here with us. And then I think sometime in the latter part of April, we're going to be, yep. it'll be on a Thursday, and we're going to do the Vision Spotlight, and I'm really excited about this, because I feel like the Lord told me to do this last night, he impressed on me, and this morning I started to work, and it was just like he said, do it, do it, do it, so I called Amy, and kind of ran it by her, we will have some of the pastors, we'll do one at a time, but in the latter part of April, we're going to have the Vision Spotlight, and it will be a pastor from here in Muellerburg County, that we'll just kind of have a little talk with them and get their views on certain things. And I'm excited because the first one is Carrie Vincent. <laughs> and I'm we all want to be here. <laughs> they're not going to let us. Yes, they are. Yes, we are. We were going to do it kind of more. Surprise, Carrie. A smaller, a smaller setting. You don't have Facebook. But the girls were so excited about it. The yeah. ladies, I guess, yeah. were so excited about it. You know, that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited about it. Yeah. Um, and, and we'd like to 
give a shout out to some of the other pastors to be thinking because we might be getting a call from us. That's right. Um, so that will be la- later on in April. Um, it'll be the Vision Spotlight. Uh, we'll have one of the pastors from Millenburg County be Carrie Vincent the first time. And I have to say, he's my cousin. I mean, I'm not trying to throw that out there. Yeah, she just, <laughs> did she just sling the name? Did she just name drop? Everyone just sling the name. I was thinking last night when he was preaching, because if you weren't there last night, and Mary and I am so good. sorry you missed it. I am too. It. I'm sorry. Um, I know you are. Go back. Because I can tell you, I think she would have been she would all over been. the place. I would go back to the Because she's a water walker. Water walker. She's a water walker, but he did the most magnificent job. Well, most it's water. live, so you can it's go live. back, you on, can go back on Move Ministries and watch it. We had uh, Landon Fulkerson was there, and then Justin Morphis from Lee's Chapel did a, did a fun, phenomenal job too. So, so revival this Sunday night. This Sunday this night. Sunday night, night is. Uh, I'm trying to think. Who's this special? Uh, no. Who did I tell you? Well, uh, Gabe and oh, Tabe and Tabe, <laughs> Gabe and Tara uh, Charbonnet, yeah, Charbonneau. and Charbonneau, sorry, and uh, GRC is going to be leading worship, yeah, yeah. and yes. Wally Cobb awesome. is going to be yes, okay. it's going to be it's gonna good. Be so don't miss out on that. And um, April fifteenth, Good Friday, downtown Central City, we're going to have a Christian concert. Um, the least of these, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Bruce Mayer, my favorite. Yes. Yes. I like him too. Yes. Uh, the, uh, Dustin Scarborough. Dustin Scarborough yes. with Lisa these. Lady Meredith, Ryan Wiggins, and Justin, Justin Morphus. Morphus. Yes. 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 Okay, so I think, yeah. and you all correct me if I'm wrong, but I think our next live is April the 11th. That's on a Monday. Is that two weeks from now? Yes. Yes, okay. it is. So April the 11th, and unless something changes, we will be discussing... Feeling, faith versus feelings. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I think that kind of goes right along yeah, with this yeah, subject yeah. here. So I think it'll be a good one too. Um, we'll have Peggy back and hopefully Carol will be back then. So we'll have a full house. Um, but remember the and vision. Carol. Did you say Carol? I said yeah. Carol. Yeah. The vision because the view isn't enough. I love you guys. Bye, guys. Have a good night.